scraps from last night in the back. Heading to work. And uh, just wanting to talk about a couple things. Um, there's a little bit of my place. I know I keep telling y'all I'm going to show it to you someday. Anyway, that's not important. The only thing important about that right now is that I have it fenced in and I feel secure and have a basement somewhere to go during bad weather and during uh, any type of coming, um, well, ap apocalyptic scenes, but I don't want to get too far down all that space right now. I just want to talk about two things. Um, first of all, went to church on Sunday and one of the preachers uh, was discussing that he's also uh, part owner or helps, you know, run a funeral home. And he said during his sermon, he was talking about the cocoa and all that and uh, the jabs. And uh, he said that uh, last year, 2020, they buried 29 people from the CV sorry I call it so many different names but you just don't want to say it out loud or you'll get misinformation strikes uh, 29 people buried and the federal government gave them $10,000 for each of those burials and this year now just here lately there's been a resurgence and they've buried six people and the federal government is no longer paying for those burials so uh, take that how you will but that's straight from this horse's mouth um, that's not rumor or uh, any kind of uh, just speculation because I'm telling you that that's not a lie. That's what this this minister said, and he's a old-fashioned, old-timey, regular Baptist minister, and that's what he said. So there's that. Now, what else I wanted to talk about though is, um, so it's clear now if you've watched any. I, you know, of course, I mean, we don't watch any of those channels of the lying media. Um, but what's really funny is, is the tides have now turned and they are coming down on Biden pretty hard. Um, so his time is up, I believe. Um, I, I, like I said, I didn't watch it. Mark Dice, you know, he always jokes and says, I'll watch this for you so you don't have to. So Mark Dice put out a video this morning, uh, his upload showing uh, CNN blaming Biden, MSNBC blaming Biden, uh, CBS blaming Biden. So clearly uh, Biden's time is short. And what I'm just wondering is who's next, you know? Um, I mean, there's... I just don't see how it is humanly possible that they will put Kamala Harris into office as President of the United States. I mean, it just, to me, that is beyond laughable. Um, she's a joke. Um, she's a W straight out of Babylon and I just if that happens then clearly obviously there should be no question left in any anyone's mind any Christian mind surely uh, that this there's this country is gone it has absolutely fallen um, I mean, who else could they put in? I don't know, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but clearly 
I do not think that they're going to let this man stay in office. My, and my, my thing's about to cut off. I'm sorry. Um, I don't think he's going to be in office long, though. So, just uh, follow it. And also, follow the market today. And uh, much love.